America. Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing Ben Franklin's diplomatic work. America declared its independence from England on July 4th, 1776. But our leaders knew that success would depend on securing the assistance of France, England's eternal enemy. In December 1776, Congress sent Ben Franklin to Paris to negotiate with the French. Although Franklin was 70 years old and in poor health, he willingly accepted the post as he was now fully committed to the American cause. The French were initially cautious about openly committing to a pact, but that changed in December 1777 when news of General John Burgoyne's surrender at Saratoga arrived in Paris. On February 6, 1778, France and the United States signed the Treaty of Amity and Commerce, recognizing America as an independent nation, our first official recognition, and a defensive pact called the Treaty of Alliance. After Lord Charles Cornwallis surrendered to General George Washington at Yorktown on October 19, 1781, peace talks began in earnest, and Congress selected Franklin, John Adams, and John Jay to negotiate on our behalf. The agreement, known as the Treaty of Paris, was signed on September 3, 1783. The terms were generous for the United States, including expanded fishing rights, access to the Mississippi, doubling our land mass, and most importantly, recognition of our independence. Interestingly, it can truly be said that Ben Franklin and John Adams were present at the beginning and the end of the American Revolution, as they are the only two men who signed both the Declaration of Independence and the Treaty of Paris. Next week, we will discuss Ben Franklin's role at the Constitutional Convention. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.